So this video is going to be about uh, Brembo Master Cylinder installed and what do you see there? That's installed Brembo Master Cylinder. So I've already done the installation and I will take you through it uh, pretty much step by step and hopefully um, anybody uh, you can see there that it's already done with the reservoir um, included and that uh, is a clear tube that came with the um, whole kit that I got and I got it from uh, Moto Mummy so anybody want to grab the same thing you can and um, I'll bring you through the whole um, process it takes a while so um, if you got some free time go ahead and watch alright this is the uh, install for the uh, Brembo Master Cylinder. Um, this is the instructions that it came with, but I'm um, probably not going to follow them because it's just not that great. Um, hopefully we'll get everything done uh, without a problem. Alright, we can stop. First part of the, um, the replacement of the Brembo Master Cylinder will be um, the bleeding of the brakes. You got to get all the brake fluid out of the, um, the bike so you can take off the the brake lever because the whole thing is going to be replaced. Um, first thing you want to do is you want to remove the cap from the brake reservoir and then go down to the bottom and remove the uh, cap from the brake bleed valve and then attach this speed bleeder bag. And that's how we do that. That's attached. Now, now we're going to remove the brake reservoir cap. Yeah, try not to lose your pieces. And uh, get some paper towels, put them down. Just make sure. Also, put paper towels where you think any brake fluid might go. So just cover up any parts that are going to get, that possibly can get brake fluid on it. Oops, brake fluid is very corrosive and it will mess up your paint job and if you do get some brake fluid on it you can always use some uh, brake cleaner to get it off alright so remove this cap and get the pieces inside don't get any brake fluid on your stuff. You'll be okay. And then we're gonna go back down and we're gonna bleed the brakes. So we're gonna pump the brake lever, hold it, release the valve, close it, pump the brake lever. If you want to see uh, how to do it better, uh, there's other videos that I have you can go to. All right. Alright, so we bled the other side, we bled the, uh, the calipers, and now we're going to try and remove the actual brake itself, alright? So, uh, i never done this before, so everything is going to be a learning process. It might take me a little bit longer than uh, normal to get everything done, but we're going to try and get everything done. So the first part, we're going to loosen the nut for the brake lines. That will be under here. Here first we can get that. So actually that's going to be hard to do. So we're going to loosen this up so we can move it into a better position. All right. 
right, so we'll move this up a little bit. So maybe we can get a better hold of this bolt under here. Alright, cool. Got it. Alright, so that's gonna snap. And then you gotta be careful because brake fluid is probably gonna come out of here. So just take it easy. Try to undo this. And you're gonna need to keep the old hoses that are on the actual brake cylinder or brake master cylinder. Just gonna try and take this all out. Yeah. Undo here. All right, that's one piece off. And put it down. Uh, the next piece is coming off right here. But you also got the brake reservoir to take off. for there. That's for the old brake reservoir. Um, this would probably come off too. Though. Actually the whole bracket should have came off. Probably took off the wrong piece. bracket for the brakes off and uh, the bolts are loosened and then what else has to come off the brake switch has to come off and um, let's see what else or maybe that doesn't come off Brembo does provide a um, the ba new banjo bolt and crush washers, and you're probably going to have to put them back in order of one banjo bolt, then the line, another banjo bolt, then the line, and another banjo bolt, and then the crush washer. And as I said, there's brake fluid about to come out of this thing, so make sure you have your stuff protected and uh, brake light switch just came off so let's hope I didn't mess anything up alright so that's going to be the brake, the old brake is off the old brake mask cylinder is off um, try to make sure you clean things up leave things with brake fluid on them. Just gonna make sure I wipe stuff off. And here you have the crush washer, the brake lines. Gotta get those things off. Yeah. Let's 
So one cross washer, brake line, another cross washer, the brake line again, another cross washer, and then you have your banjo bolt. And this is the old stuff, I don't think you're gonna reuse it. So, but I'm gonna put it down to the side just in case I need it for some reason. One trick that I do with this brake lines when you take them off is to fold up some paper and stick it in so that it doesn't keep flowing brake fluid all over your stuff. This usually keeps that in check for a while so you can keep working. too much problems here so we're gonna try next we're gonna look at the new versus the old brake master cylinder and try to make sure everything is is matched up correctly all right so now I have the old brake and the new brake so we're gonna look at where it's gonna line up and um, oh, stuff is dripping out and uh, you see that this is gonna be the um, bleeder this is going to be the um, reservoir hose, and this is where the banjo bolt will go. So we're gonna try to line everything up and then um, install, and hopefully everything goes right. Um, these are the wires for the brake lights. I hope, I don't know what to do with them right now, but we'll figure it out soon enough. Just cleaning stuff off. I don't want anything to be messed up. Alright, so we're gonna undo these bolts. Ooh. Be careful. And, uh, Place it over, just like it should be. So then I say which side should be up, whatever. Get that started. Alright, got it started. Halfway there. Alright, so we have uh, gotten the master cylinder back on. Um, they did provide, Brembo does provide um, the banjo bolts by themselves. Um, uh, they might be different, I'm not sure. I've heard that other people have had issues with them, but I'm not sure what I'm going to get into. But we'll see in a minute. The, uh, the actual brake installed, and uh, now we're going to try and install the brake lines into the master cylinder. And Brembo does provide its own um, banjo bolt and crush washers, so we're going to try and put those things on. So remember, it's one crush washer, then the brake line, another crush washer, then the brake line, and then another crush washer. So it should be three crush washers if you have uh, one banjo bolt with two lines on it. So let's see if we can get this on right. So we got the crush washers on and the brake lines ready to be installed. 
So there's underneath there, there's a blue um, little socket that was holding a rubber socket that was inside the, the hole for the um, banjo bolt. Took it out and then we're going to try and install this banjo bolt into the master cylinder. I get it started by hand, and then after that you can get the uh, tools to it, and that's started, get that installed, make sure you're going in. getting tight what you want to do is you look in your owner's manual and find out what the, um, the torque settings for this bolt should be and uh, you can do it to the right torque settings right now just get in the mid cool. now we got to put on a reservoir and this kit came with uh, a separate reservoir that I'm going to try to get installed now. Alright, so this is the new reservoir that I got with my kit. I got it from Moto Mummy. And they give you the brake master cylinder with the reservoir and the kit. For, and it includes the regular um, outlet because the Brembo master cylinder I think has a smaller or larger uh, opening than the normal um, brake master cylinder that you get from OEM and we're going to try and install that in a minute. So I've got the pieces for the brake reservoir. I'm going to try to figure out what how they work. So you got this piece, you got a rubber grommet piece here. I think I'm going to install it like that. Then take the washer and then the other nut and install. That should be looks correct unless there's some other way to do it and uh, get your tool allen keys all right and then tighten that down All right, so we're gonna install this onto where the old reservoir came from using the screw from the old reservoir. Let's hope that works. Now we're gonna try to connect the, um, the reservoir to the master cylinder. And the mass cylinder comes with um, two, or the reservoir comes with two pieces that you can attach. Uh, one's larger than the other. I think one's for the old, the original master cylinder, and this one is a Brembo. I think it's a little bit smaller. So we're gonna just install that there, tighten it down, make sure it fits correctly, and then. I take off the cap from the master cylinder and we're going to see if this thing will fit. So there were clips on the old master cylinder. Um, there were these clips that hold the 
the uh, reservoir onto the master cylinder, but um, I try to take them off and put them on a new one, but they're just a little bit too big, so um, we're probably going to have to figure out something later on of how to hold that. so we get that kink out and looks like this might be the optimal position uh, unless we go the other way see how that works out try taking this off here turn it around if it will go this way. Okay. Alright, so we're going to try and cut this a little bit so that it works better. Alright, so we're going to cut the hose and then come back. Okay, so we cut the hose down a little bit and we're going to retry positioning this to fit the master cylinder and the reservoir. Let's turn that. And That's it. Kink is lowered and everything is fitting in correctly. That'll work. Alright, so the next step is going to be to make sure that these are tightened down uh, and then we're going to put some fluid into the um, reservoir and try to get everything back up and running. Alright, so um, before I forget anything, um, I have to try and figure out how this brake light switch gets installed. We're just going to put it on because I'm not sure exactly how to get the wires where they need to be. So there's two holes underneath. Uh, we're going to just try and line them up. I probably should have done this earlier, but I'm learning just like everybody else. two uh, holes underneath the um, master cylinder just line them up and attach the brake light switch is that easy we're going to try to put back the fluid into the um, master cylinder and here I have some uh, RBF 600 uh, this is the first year I'm using it I've heard good things about it so I'm gonna try it and just enough so I can do both bikes probably today once you open brake fluid you want to try to use as much as it, of it as possible because you really shouldn't be putting it back. Right, pour some fluid into the reservoir. Try to get the massive cylinder started up.
All right, so we just poured some fluid into the master reservoir and then we're going to try to bleed the actual master reservoir. Uh, this kink is kind of working against me. I'm going to have to figure out what to do with that. Uh, hopefully I can get it working. try to remove the reservoir in order to get rid of that kink and then uh, I'll try to fix the reservoir later. Right, so I was able to get the, the brakes um, bled. Um, I had to have my assistant help me out with holding the reservoir because that was too tight the original place and it was causing a kink. So I have to figure out a new way to mount that. And um, then uh, you start bleeding from the master cylinder, um, then go over to the left, the farther um, caliper, and bleed that one, then come back over to the closer caliper, and then again to the master cylinder, and um, just make sure that when you're bleeding that you don't get any bubbles. So. I got that done so the two pieces left will be to figure out how to mount this brake reservoir and next the um, brake light switch. Alright All right, so in order to get the reservoir to fit on the bike without kinking that wire I decided to bend the bracket that came with it. So I bent it at like a um, 90 degree angle and hopefully this will work. We got the um, the piece back under the reservoir, and we're gonna just use the old mounting plate for the reservoir. We uh, worked on getting the um, reservoir completed and installed, and we were able to um, just use the bracket provided plus the bracket that was originally came with the uh, bike to get the reservoir mounted correctly and um, made sure that there's no kink in the actual line. Um, yesterday I cut the line a little bit. Um, I'm not even sure if I really needed to. Um, I just, after I was able to position the reservoir correctly, um, I really am not sure if I really need to uh, cut that line or not. Um, so that's there. Last part of this install will be to get the brake light switch working. So um, you've seen how I've um, attached the brake light switch to the master cylinder, but now I got to get this um, two prongs to fit into these two prongs here. Uh, so I'm not sure exactly how to do it. Uh, yesterday I emailed uh, Moto Mommy, uh, the person that I got the or the site that I got the um, the reservoir from. And they said that um, you can probably just uh, solder the two lines together. So I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do and which way will work for me. Um, so uh, I'll probably won't be able to actually show you exactly what I'm doing because my assistant is gone. So I'm going to have to just 
make the video after I'm done to show you what I did and um, hopefully everything works out right. Alright so I was able to get the brake light switch from the Brembo system to match up to the OEM system and what I did was I flattened out the Brembo system um, prongs that came with it and um, so because the part from the OEM were flat so I just kinda flattened it out with a hammer and um, then I squeezed in I kinda opened up the OEM system and then I squeezed in the two prongs that came from the Brembo system so they actually do fit into the original position so I really didn't have to do anything crazy but um, these are kinda I don't know if these are um, how permanent they are so the um, the next step could be to just solder those together but I doubt I'm gonna do that um, most likely I'm just going to um, to find another way to keep them um, from coming apart and uh, you can see here by the reflection of the uh, brake light that it does work see there you go I can do a little shot hopefully you can see that and that's pretty much almost done with this new system all right so the end of a journey uh, I was able to um, get the Brembo master cylinder brake light switch to go into the OEM bracket um, what I did and I don't suggest anybody do the same thing it's uh, hard to see kind of but I just um, kind of use a lot of electrical tape to make sure that the connections stay together uh, not the best idea but um, I didn't feel like soldering it just in case I had to cut it to um, if I had to replace it or something or go back to stock I don't know why but I just didn't feel like soldering it um, you can obviously do whatever you choose um, my way is not the best way but it is the way I did it alright so Brembo master cylinder install done and everything works uh, I will go do a, um, a little ride just to make sure everything is working correctly and uh, see how it feels alright so uh, this is pretty much the last part of the project and um, Thanks for watching.